Welcome back, Tater Tots, to the channel for another new episode of the Solar System Legacy Challenge Season 2, Episode 18. So it is Sunday, and we have invited the Fam Bam over to hang out for Sunday afternoon slash evening. Vance is over here making some healthy, like, chickpea spaghetti or something like that. And little Eden has just been over here spending time with her... Um, Uncle Vincent, I forgot his name for a second, and Grandma Maria, and Daryl, and Uncle Victor, and Maya has been in here taking a nap because she has just been exhausted with this pregnancy, and Vance seems to be coming down with something, and oh, she is craving something sweet, oh, and he just sneezed right into the pod, which is not very good. Now everyone else is going to end up getting this headache or whatever else he may have, which is not very good. So let's see, what does she have? She wants to join in cooking, which is super cute. <clears throat> When they first came over to the house, uh, Maya came over and let Daryl and Vincent and Victor and Maria, she let each one of them feel her belly so they could feel the baby because she is officially in the second trimester. Yes, so she will be in the third trimester in 19 hours. And so let's see, let's call everybody to the meal so that everybody can get some food, get some grub. All right, and oh, poor Vance, you need to use the bathroom. So before he has an accident, we're just going to have him come in here to use the potty. And unfortunately, I was unable to make it, and so Vance literally just peed this huge pile of pee on the floor. And so we're going to have him come and take a shower. He is so humiliated, but uh, the sacrifice he made for his family, <laughs> like for real, and so Maya, she's like, it is okay. So she's going to finish eating here. And then she is going to mop this up and take care of it. Oh, she's got to go to work. So never mind. I guess we won't have her take care of that. So he is going to eat some food. And Maya's off to work. Also, I forgot to tell you guys. That's right. Yesterday, Saturday night, she actually got promoted. So let me come back down here so that you guys can see. She was promoted to daycare admin. And so she will now make an additional $8 per hour for a grand total of $48 per hour. And she received a bonus of 192 simoleons. So she works on Saturday and Sunday from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. So yeah, I thought that that was really cool. We got her promoted. And so all the brothers are so excited to see each other. Vincent, he is still a teen, so it's not quite his birthday yet, but uh, so much has been going on. And little Eden looks like she has gone to sleep. Where is Maria? Is Maria doing anything? I don't see her out here anywhere. And let's see, is she upstairs? No, Maria must have already left. It was getting a little bit later in the evening. Not super late, but she must have had some things she had to take care of. She probably put little Eden to bed, which is super sweet of her. Ah, but it's so cute to see all of the charm boys here, except R.I.P. Vale. We are missing him. He did not get to meet his niece, unfortunately. But you know what? It is what it is, I guess. And oh, what's happening to your arms, Vance? <laughs> I don't know what that was or what that was about, but whoa, we got a lot of dishes over here. So let's let's take care of this for him so he has a little less to do, just saying. So we're gonna have Vance come and mop up all of this and ugh, this house has gotten pretty dirty and whatnot. But yeah, so we have had a great gathering getting to see our mom and our dad and our fellow brothers. Uh, I really do love the Charm family, and I just think it's so cute. Maria had all these little boys, and I cannot wait to find out if Maya's having a boy or a girl. So, ugh, guys, ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> cannot wait. It's going to be really exciting because our next generation has to be a middle child out of the four. So it's either going to be this kid or the next one. So we've got options, guys. And oh, just so you guys know, my baby is due in about eight weeks. I'm going to say six to eight weeks because my mom and my sister were both early with theirs. So yeah, you just don't know. And oh my gosh, our, our hot tub got fried. Like they gets bubbles like this. Ew, that's so gross. But yeah, so our um, 
our my baby like I said is due soon and he currently right now in my belly as I'm recording this is kicking me so hard <laughs> like my stomach is just wobbling back and forth right now and it's the weirdest thing but you know so me and Maya we got something in common we're both pregnant right now which is really exciting and oh look everybody's getting sick now uh oh <laughs> <laughs> that was my bad. So it is pretty late and the storm is only getting worse. So we should probably go ahead and send everybody home. And plus Vance is just so embarrassed. So we're going to go ahead and end our gathering. Happy Monday morning, everyone. Today is officially Children's Day. And so part of Children's Day is giving gifts and telling stories. And so Vance is already headed off to work. He doesn't get the day off, unfortunately. But Maya here, she is going to get a gift for little Eden. But she has been super busy with just running around and cleaning up this house because it has got gotten so messy. There was like um, sugar and things on the floor, all these burn marks from all the thunder and lightning. And our trees here were just vaporized. So we had to clean those up. So I've replaced those trees and she's getting the ashes. We've replaced the hot tub and the stereo over here. So just one thing after another, I'm telling you, like it was so bad. And so our money trees, we're still waiting for them to come along a little bit more. But yeah, she's just finishing up all of this cleaning. She wants to celebrate the day by spending it, of course, with little Eden, which is perfect because she is adorable. And also, she has officially started our third trimester. And so we could have this baby, honestly, at any moment. So, oh my gosh, guys. We don't even know what to expect, but we're going to put little Eden here in her little outfit. So let's pull up her dresser and it is a hot day outside. So let's put her in one of her little summer outfits. Yes, this one right here is so cute. I love her little braid. She is precious. And oh, it looks like, yep, there's some mopping right here to do. So let's mop that up. Okay, Maya, I think you might be done with all of this cleaning, which is really funny. And oh, this guy must be here. So we are going to brighten her day, but we need to get a gift. So let's see, what can we get for little Eden? Is there purchase gifts? Okay, so toys. Leap the robot. There's a butterfly. That could be cute. Let's get her the little butterfly. I think she would like that. So we're going to try to find little Eden. Oh, she's going down the stairs. Is she going to come back up the stairs? What is she doing? Oh, she's going to sit on the stairs. Okay, well, I want to talk with her. Oh, they're both coming down the stairs. There we go. Okay, perfect. And Maya, come back here. Like, I don't want you wearing your nightgown all day. So let's put her into something as well. What does she have to wear for summer? I forgot what I even have for her. So let's see once this loads. Oh yeah, her cute little tank top thing. So we'll just have her wear that. And here comes little Eden. Okay, and we're gonna give her a gift. So friendly. Give a gift, a friendly gift, and we're going to give her the little butterfly that we just bought for her. So this is part of our children's day, so we're not going to play a video game. Come on, Maya. Let's go and give this gift to sweet little Eden. Eden, we've got a gift for you. Oh, Eden is so excited. I love seeing their little excited faces when they open a gift. Let's see, does she like her little butterfly? <gasps> Oh, she's so excited. She did love it. Fantastic. Okay, and now I want to tell her a story, though. So let's see. Does she have a good story? Let's tell her a story. Here we go. She's like, all right, Eden, I've got a new one for you. Are you ready for this? And Eden's like, yeah. Look, she is so into this story. She's like, magical birds and magical, magical fireflies. Or lightning bugs, as I call them. That's what we called them growing up. <laughs> but, oh, oh, and Maya, you have to pee. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's have her come in here and take care of that little Eden. Oh, 
give gifts. Give something in the Sims inventory. Does she have anything in her little inventory? <gasps> oh, her little butterfly. So we should give her something else though. Let's see. Let's give her a rose. Let's let's drag a rose out here. I'm going to drag it out of Maya's inventory. That way little Eden can have something to give Maya as a gift because she is pretty excited about having a little brother or sister. And where did it go? Like, <laughs> did you guys see where she put that? Like, did it go somewhere? I don't know. But anyways, so let's have little Eden come and grab this rose so it looks like it doesn't ever actually allow us to actually give a gift as a toddler which that isn't really surprising to me honestly so i guess we just won't really worry about it but oh, this is so cute she's got so many things yell at maya why you want to yell at her <laughs> and tell a goofy story oh look she's playing with her new toy precious Okay, guys, well, I'm going to, oh, giving spirit. Fantastic. That was cute. That toddler is utterly adorable. How can something so small be so cute? I have to agree, like, honestly. Ah, and she is wanting to make silly faces in the mirror. Kiss Vance. Give a romantic gift. Oh, they are so cute. So anyways, I'm going to just continue the afternoon with her, and we will come back later. Vance is home from work and has come out here to spend a little bit of time with Eden and Maya. And look how cute she looks with her little pregnant belly helping sweet little Eden. Oh, she's so excited. Come on, Eden, you got it. Happy Children's Day. Oh, she loves Maya. She really, look at Vance. That look was just adorable. Family has come inside for some dinner, and it looks like she is getting some yogurt. Oh, poor little girl. She has been so scared of the thunderstorms, and then she's super hungry. She's very hungry, and she's really tired. So, aww. Vance is trying. Little Eden, just eat your food, sweetie, and then we'll read you a story and go to bed. So we'll take care of this little girl. All right, guys. So it was a good evening, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. It is late Tuesday morning and Maya has just been up here spending some time with Eden. She's teaching her how to spell. And remember guys, she is third trimester, so she is ready to pop at any moment, but she has been feeling very itchy, so itchy. So hopefully she'll feel all right, but she did actually run over here outside to this bush and she threw up an earlier. So she must not be feeling super good in her third trimester. And little Eden looks like she's doing pretty well. We'll have her go potty. Vance has headed off to work. We'll make sure that he works hard. And he is blushing because he's thinking about someone, which is great. And so little Maya, she is wanting to lounge in the kiddie pool and woohoo in a bush. And oh, she has gone into labor, guys. It's official. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So we are going to head to the hospital. So I will meet you guys there. Unfortunately, Vance was not able to leave the office, so she is pretty sad. Maya is a little bit scared, but Maria came with her to help soothe her and got her to the hospital, but it looks like Maria had to leave as well. So guys, it looks like we're going it alone. Oh gosh. So we're going to check in here at the front desk. So come on, Maya. You have got this. Take deep breaths. And guys, this is good practice for me because, you know, I'm going to be having my baby soon. And I've been doing so many meditation videos and like hypnobirthing where you're supposed to just like practice breathing techniques. And so hopefully that will help me. But I have no idea. I'll have to let you guys know all about it when it does happen. So come on. We need to check in. This baby is coming at any moment. There we go. Okay, now I've got that little heart symbol. So, oh, guys, moment of truth. Boy, girl, we don't even know. But I wonder if this thing is going to glitch out again. And, oh, I don't remember them having um, little gowns with rubber duckies and pink shoes. That's cute. Girl, you got a cute one. And what's this guy? You're not even dressed like a doctor. You're just wearing a big old top hat. This makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, gosh, at the mustard clinic. That just sounds like a... 
You look like you came from a magic show. Oh, yep, it's gonna glitch with the weird arm thing, just like it did with Janessa when she, like, flies over here. So, let's just fast forward here a bit. <gasps> okay, guys. Oh, yep, there she goes. <laughs> okay, let's find out. What is it? <gasps> what is it? Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. It's a baby boy. All right, so Vance is going to have a son. So I need to think about some boy names. So I will be right back, guys. I've decided on the name Evan Charm. So here we go, guys. We have a baby boy. I can't believe it. This is awesome. And Maya is so thrilled. She is so happy to have her own baby. She is hydrated. She doesn't need to get in line. I wouldn't worry about that, honey. We just need to go home with our new little baby. Here is little Evan officially, and he looks adorable. So we are going to come in here and talk to our little boy and coo at him because Maya is just so excited. She cannot wait for Vance to meet him when he gets home from work today. And we need to introduce little Eden to the new baby. Here comes Eden to check out the new sibling. How is she looking? Oh, she's smiling. She looks like she likes him. She's like, oh, it's a baby. Oh, he's so tiny. Oh, look at her laughing. So cute. So she seems to really like her new sibling, which is awesome. All right, we're going to have her come over here and feed the baby. And then she will bounce him a little bit. And little Eden, she's like, Miss Maya, this is my brother. I have a baby brother. I love how she holds her little hands like that. It's just the cutest thing. Ah, oh, Maya, you did such a fantastic job. Vance has just gotten home from work, so Maya is going to introduce him to his son. So, oh, it looks like Victor has gotten us a gift. So Vance is like, Maya, babe, you did amazing. He is beautiful. He's everything that we could have ever wanted. She's like, yes, Vance, this right here, this is your son, Evan. So he is so happy. Look at his face. Oh, he is like, yes, indeed, that is my son. Oh, that is so cute. He's like, I'm so proud of you, babe. You're such an amazing mother. Oh, so things are going so well for them. I'm so happy. And we need to come out here and greet um, Victor because he is supposed to have a gift for us, apparently. So I guess we will see. And look at this girl just walking down the street, this big old mohawk. But oh, I want to see what it is. Okay, what is it? He's like, for me, bro? Thanks. He's like, yeah, congratulations on the new baby. I thought you might like this. And so it looks like he got a postcard. So he must have gone on a recent vacation to Isla Paradiso, Paradiso something like that. Victor, what do we have for a sentiment here? A jamtastic gift. You are my jam. Great. All right, guys. Well, that was a great end to the episode. We got to see the new little boy. So we have officially a girl and a boy. So we have two more children that Vance has to have to complete that part of this generation for the challenge. So we will continue to work on that. It looks like they are both going to go for a swim, I think. So let's see. Or she just thinks that there's trash or something. <laughs> I have no idea. But anyways, thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me on this fantastic and fun episode. Jamtastic, get it? I <laughs> like the jamtastic sentiment. <laughs> I'm so funny. Not. But anyways, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya.